Hi, I'm here with Elisa Hammerhart, one of the co-founders of BlogHer07, well, from the very beginning. Um, and we're here to talk about the BlogHer conference that's taking place here now in Chicago. I've been here for two hours, and so far it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so, first of all, just tell me how this all got started. Well, back in early 2005, uh, a very prominent political blogger asked, where are the women bloggers? And the thing was that those of us who were blogging knew there were lots of women bloggers. Uh, but the question was being asked in a larger context, too. So it was the same time, you know, after Carly Fiorina had just left HP, where are the women in the Fortune 500 boardrooms? Where are the women on the Sunday morning talk shows? Where are the women on the op-ed pages? So it was kind of this chorus of questions. Meanwhile, I had met my partner Lisa Stone through a mutual friend, uh, and Jory Desjardins at a conference and, and Lisa and I were discussing this where are the women bloggers and she threw out this idea she had had which is what if instead of talking about it and complaining about it uh, as individuals um, we decided to have a conference and see who would show up to answer the question where are the women bloggers and, and meanwhile I kinda sucked Jory in because three heads are better than two mm -hmm. and we blogged it and we said hey we were thinking about having this for women bloggers anybody interested in coming and the response was immediate, it was passionate, and it was positive. And so from there, we just kept going, asking, well, what would you want at this kind of event? What should it be like? What should we do? We used our credit cards to put the deposit down on the place, and we went for it. Our mission is about creating opportunities for women bloggers. Yeah, and educating them and helping them blog and learning more about blogging and meeting other bloggers. That's right. Education, exposure, mm -hmm. community, and economic empowerment. And the conference is where it all comes together in one place. That's why it's so uh, energetic. Yeah, energetic. the energy is fantastic. And we're from Toronto, Ontario, and we met the Canadian correspondents, the, the group that you introduced in the beginning, yeah. um, which was a lot of fun. How did that all come about with, with the Canadian angle in, in the environment? Because now what they're doing is really interesting and it's part of BlogHer. So can you explain more about that? Right. Well, last year we had a session at the conference about community assistance and about women all over the world who were using blogs to help their communities in tangible ways. And Grace Davis was one of the people on the panel, and she had a blog called the Hurricane Katrina Relief Fund. And working from her blog with a woman with a cell phone in Mississippi, she was getting supplies directly to shelters before FEMA was. Um, by blogging who needed what and letting people respond. And it was really an inspiring story. Um, and she said blog her should have like blog her relief. There should be a blog her organized um, project. And so when we were planning this year's conference and we were doing another session about using blogs to raise consciousness and awareness, we thought hmm, maybe it's time. We're talking about all these case studies that we're going to talk about. Why don't we create next year's kick-ass case study? Um, and so we partnered with Cooper and Emily from the Been There Clearinghouse, who are now part of the motherhood.net, I believe. Um, they had also had a Hurricane Katrina blog and had also done a lot of relief work. And so they're going to program manage this year-long activism project. And we blogged about it and said, what do you want us to focus on? What do we want to put our energies towards? Um, and some of these Canadian bloggers, um, Catherine Connors and Sandra X, um, came to us and said, you know, we're really inspired. We would like to do a Canadian version um, and focus on a Canadian issue. Would you mind? And we said, mind. Um, we're thrilled and, and gratified that you're inspired. And we help them get their little Bloggers Act Canada logo and help them promote it. And, and we'll help track their results as well. So we're here at BlogHer07 and we, you know, being a Toronto site, found a Canadian contingent here. Um, they're a lot of fun, and we thought we'd uh, give you all a taste of each and every one we found and what their blogs are about, what they blog about, and what their passions are. Okay, first is Jane Cleland. Nice to meet you, Jane. Hi. Actually, Jana. <laughs> Jana Cleland. <laughs> I can't read, but that's not a problem. It's a video blog. Um, Jana, sorry. Nice to meet you. I, I blog about life and my daughters. They're four and two, and I'm a music publisher. Now we have Sandra Diaz, who has blogchocolate.com. Tell us a bit about that. Well, it's actually not about chocolate, um, but, it's, uh, but it should be. Um, <laughs> it's a personal blog, and I also blog at Mummy Blogs Toronto under Mama Karma. And uh, as part of the Blog Hers Act Canada initiative, where we're doing a big year-long social activism project for Canadian bloggers. And uh, we had a vote recently and just announced this morning that we are going to be spending the next year talking about the environment and trying to get the Canadian government and business 
businesses on board to make a big difference about environmental change and we kicked it off with this trip on an eco road trip where the six of us caravanned it in to reduce our foot carbon footprint.